Google I.O. 2017 brought many new things for us to talk about, but the release of Android O beta program was probably the biggest thing announced at Google I.O. Android O is the next big iteration of Android and it brings lots of changes and features to the table. This is certainly also true that Pixel and Nexus devices will be the first to get this update. But if you guys are impatient as me and want to make your device look exactly like Android O with some cool new features, then you're watching the right video. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can get Android O notification panel, setting menu, navigation bar, PIP mode, new emojis, custom navigation bar, Android O launcher and many more. So basically, this is a complete guide to make your Android device look and feel exactly like Android O. Excited? So let's get started. Now before starting, I would like to tell you that some of the things that I'm going to show you guys in this video will require a rooted device, but if you don't have a rooted device, then don't worry, you can still get the look and some features of Android O. So let's start by installing the Android O launcher which doesn't require a rooted device. The very first thing that you have to do is to download the Android O Pixel Launcher APK file from the description down below. Once that is downloaded, head over to the setting menu, then security, now from here you just have to enable unknown sources. Now install the APK file which we downloaded earlier and after that set this as your default launcher and now you are done. Now after rearranging your icons according to your preference, your launcher will look like Android O. Except looks, it also has some really cool Android O features like this new layout of app shortcut which really looks cool. Now you also get this widget option through which you can access different widgets of that particular app and you don't have to go through the widget tab. Rather than that, now you also have the adaptive icon option. If you tap and hold the home screen, you will get this setting option. Just click on that and here you will find an option called change icon shapes. Here you can choose from different shaped icons and it will create an overlay of that shape over your icons. Now let's get the Android O notification panel, setting menu and navigation bar. And for that, you need a rooted device which should be running a stock Android or you can also use any AOSP ROM. So to get these features, you will need to install the Substratum theme engine from the Play Store and it only works with rooted devices. Now head over to the Play Store and search for Substratum theme engine and install it. Once it is installed, grant the permissions and root access so that it can work properly. Now from the description box, you have to download two apps which are Android O Substratum theme APK and Android O navigation bar theme. So just head over to the description box and install both the apps. Once that is done, head over to the Substratum theme engine and here you will find both the themes that you installed. First click on the Android O theme and enable this option which says select to toggle all overlays. Now click on this icon at the bottom right corner then select build and enable. This will basically make your setting menu and notification panel just like Android O. Once that is installed, go back to Substratum theme engine and apply and nav bar just like we did previously. Now if you go back and take a look over your notification panel, setting menu and navigation bar, then it will look quite similar to Android O. But the only exception is that the navigation bar doesn't have the home button animation. Now there is also a non-rooted method to get Android O navigation button in case you are interested. So to get it, install an app called Pixel Navigation Bar from Play Store. Once installed, open the app and activate it. Now from here, you just have to align and resize all the three keys to fit the screen just like this. Once that is done, you can see the difference that how it looks quite similar to Android O navigation bar. Now let's get some Android O exclusive features. The first one on the list is the cool new picture in picture mode which basically let you play YouTube videos on a floating window while you are multitasking. You can get this feature by just installing an app called floating tube from the play store and for this, you don't need to be rooted. You can simply trigger the floating window by just opening the app and playing any video. After using this app, I was pretty surprised that how well it works. You can also move the floating window anywhere you like and you can also resize it. The next cool feature that Android O brings to the table is called the custom navigation bar tuner which basically lets you choose between different layouts such as normal, compact, left leaning and right leaning which comes in handy if you want to use your device single handed. Additionally, you also have the option to add extra left and extra right button on your navigation bar to perform any specific action. 
you can get this same feature on your Android device by just installing an app called Custom Navigation Bar from the Play Store. Just open the app and click on Layout. Here you can change the navigation bar layout according to your preference and the interesting fact is that it offers some extra option that even Android O doesn't offer. It also has the option to add extra left and extra right button and again here you will find some extra option which you won't find on Android O. Another cool feature that Android O introduced is the snooze notification. Whenever you receive a notification, just swipe the notification to right and tap this clock icon to snooze the notifications. This will make the message go away for 15 minutes and then come right back when the time is up. And I find this feature very handy if you get lots of notification throughout the day. You can also get this feature or I should say kind of. By using an app called N History, you can snooze your notifications. For instance, if you get a notification and you don't want to check out it yet. So just tap this to view the history and from here you can snooze the notification for whatever time you like or you can also set a custom time for that notification. Now if you like emojis then you will be glad to know that Android O also introduces a new set of emojis and now they are more recognizable and make considerably more sense. You can get these new emojis by just flashing a simple zip file using TWRP recovery or any custom recovery and this will basically replace your old emojis to the newer ones. Now additionally you can also get some of the basic app that are available on Android O like the dialer app and the contact app to give your device a more closer look to Android O. I will leave the apk file links for both the files in the description box. Now after performing all the steps correctly that I show in this video, if you take a closer look over your device then you will find that now your device looks quite similar to Android O in terms of looks and UI. Additionally now you also have some Android O exclusive features on your devices. So guys that's it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed it and if you think we have missed any feature that we should have added then do let us know that in the comment section and for more future videos like this do consider subscribing to our channel and press the bell icon so you never misses any new video from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I will see you guys in my next one.